Good morning, Denmark. Certainly the warmest morning I've had yet. So that's very nice. Uh, but on the other hand, the campsite is probably the worst I've had yet. Ah, isn't that lovely? It smells exactly like it looks as well. It uh, smells like poo. Ugh. A broken glass and what have you. Ugh. No idea what this place is supposed to be. Suddenly made stuff happening there. Broken glass. Trash. Yuck. It's like a landfill. But I'm just gonna move straight away. Didn't even want to eat breakfast. It's so smelly. It's absolutely disgusting. Be glad this isn't smell vision I see so I've got some company during the night. Uh, this place is apparently called uh, Brandby. Well, here's an international breakfast for you. Finnish porridge made with Norwegian water and chocolate on an Italian gas burner in Denmark on a parking lot of an American company. Ah, breakfast done just in time to catch the morning cartoons. Alright, so with the morning's thingies out of the way and a nice cup of Danish McDonald's coffee in my belly, uh, we can start making miles. So the first goal is to go west just onto mainland Denmark. Uh, it says it's about two hours, so probably three in reality. Uh, and from there, uh, it seems very likely we're going to make Germany today. So I'm likely going to be sleeping somewhere in uh, northern Germany tonight. And uh, then tomorrow, perhaps we'll be making uh, the Netherlands. And the day after that, the UK. Who knows? Or I'll just uh, take a break in Amsterdam and get high for a week straight. I must say, I do like these uh, odd Danish street lights. They're saving in a lot of poles to you at. Well, this is probably my biggest road I've ever driven. Four lanes plus the turn off lane each direction. Jeez. For a little country boy from out of nowhere like me, this is really fancy. Right, we are about to leave the first or second island of Denmark. And I must say, that's a pretty damn major bridge for us going over there. I've been tracking that thing, you can see it from probably about 50 kilometers away. It's just insanely tall. Right, in my eyes, this bridge feels way cooler than the other side. Mostly because it's going way bloody high up in the air. Wow, we're flying. These are clever. I love this. With simplest self-closing door. All right, one lesson learned for my return trip. In Denmark, monarch never ever again. What an absolutely dreadful place. An expensive to boot. So anyway, we've had food for Yasuke out of the way. Uh, the good news is we're just uh, about, I don't know, 60 kilometers away from the German border. So uh, we're certainly gonna make it Germany today. Certainly with a little, very little doubt. Uh, so, let's just get on the road. I'm not going to be spending a lot of time in Germany, though. I'm going to be heading towards Hamburg. Just follow the E45, probably as long as it goes. Alright. I think we're about to cross into Germany. It keeps talking about the board, and this looks very, very custom, see? No idea, though. Yeah, that looks German. Tall. Oh, great. Oh, last wheels give you. Right, perhaps it's just for lorries. Let's read the signs. In 
Champagne 58, we've turned 100, motorway 130. Oh, we can't do that fast. Everyone's gonna hate me. Hamburg 158, I think I might be passing through there. Are we in Germany? I have no idea. Signs still look the same, so we're probably still in Denmark. Museum Kusterves Köstlinsel Fer. Okay, where we're in Germany. That's not Danish at all. Right, eh? Right, so I've had a rough idea of what uh, signs in Norwegian and Danish say. I have no idea what signs in German say, so this is going to be a different experience. Certainly a bit new, never been this far safe before, never been in Germany before. I would make some Nazi joke, but oh, oh dear, that's illegal here. Jeez, that doesn't instill Nazi jokes in itself, now does it? We're doing a speed limit! We're doing a speed limit! 127 by the GPS, but that's irrelevant. I am mildly annoyed right now because I was going safe on the E45 just as planned. You can see my little target there for where I was supposed to go and I wasn't paying too much attention to the road number or anything so all of a sudden the GPS started sh shouting at me turn off the highway, go, go somewhere else, do a bunch of stuff and what I've managed to do is set the godforsaken target on the wrong fucking side of the road! So I've driven... because apparently in Germany uh, the turnoffs aren't a thing so I've had to backtrack 20 fucking kilometers! Because the GPS had me go there now I'm here because this was the first fucking turnoff. So I went to... where's the next turnoff? Probably there. I went there, went back to the fucking target, and now I'm here trying to find my way back. Fucking hell! Fuck!